Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to draw in two eyes. I've had many questions about okay I'm okay with drawing one eye but I get into trouble once I want to draw two eyes. Now for this tutorial I'm going to use compressed charcoal combined with a black color pencil and a blender stick. Now if you were to draw this tutorial with a uh, graphite pencil then you should realize that even the 8B which is the softest softest uh, one that I've owned will never be as black as compressed charcoal will be you can see the difference here there are many kinds of compressed charcoals and you should check them out and what we see happening is when we are drawing two eyes that in fact we have two ping pong balls and in this case the left one is of course smaller than the right one and this has all to do with a drawing perspective now over these ping pong balls we will draw in the eyelids and you should keep a very sharp attention to all the alignment and the perspective and make sure that the pupils are correctly positioned now the print for this study of course you can find on my patreon page and you will find there many many other tips and real-time recordings of course so that could help you with your studies and here you can see those disappearing lines and the difference between the left and the right ping pong ball. This is my setup and now I want to demonstrate the great effect of the compressed charcoal. Once you've measured out your alignment of the eyes then it is time to get that compressed charcoal and all you have to do is just put a little bit of pigments on your drawing because we are going to hit it with the blender stick but the effect is very quick and is, uh, has a lot of contrast because of the pigments in that compressed charcoal Compressed charcoal is very different from the natural dark, uh, charcoal because of the compression it's much darker but it is ideal for studies not only for eyes of course but for all kinds of studies because it's so quick when you use the blender stick. So I simply draw out the shape of that eye and here you can see the eyelashes coming from behind that ping pong ball, the eyeball itself. Now all I have to do is take the blender stick and then rub in the pigments into my drawing paper. With the graphite pencil you would uh, need a lot of time to make even shadows but with the charcoal and blender stick this goes very quickly my first setup is very very soft and I also draw in a lot of shadow in the eyeball itself then I pick up my charcoal stick again and I draw the drawing back in. So once you've blurred, you can always go back into that and get in more detail. The effect is very soft and what you need to do then is pick up your black color pencil. Now this black color pencil can be sharpened much farther 
than the charcoal pencil, of course. But with this, you can draw in the little muscles in the iris and put in very fine detail. What you get is a very quickly a, a realistic effect. Okay, let's take a look at the right eye. Here I draw in some less shadows for the left eye. And for the right eye, I first put in the pupil. You can see the alignment and you can see the little helper line between the left pupil and the right one. And it is very, very important that these pupils are perfectly aligned. Otherwise, your uh, model will look uh, a bit crooked and you do not want that. I draw in the very simplest shape I can for the eye. The upper eyelid and the lower eyelid. I also draw in the eyebrow. And I take notice of the way that those hairs grow in that eyebrow. And I also draw in a little bit of eyeliner and mascara if you like. So the uh, upper uh, eyelashes are quite dark and then I blur everything in with that blender stick again. You can see how quickly I can draw in those shadows under the uh, lower eyelid and I also blur out the eyelashes themselves. I can draw them out later with the charcoal pencil again. And here I place a little bit of shadow just underneath the eyebrow and in the arch of the eye and the side of the eye muscle. The effect is really really soft and I love drawing like this. Now I go back in with the charcoal stick again and I draw out the mascara put in a little bit extra pigments into the iris then blur that in and I pull out a little bit of lines out of the pupil and then I get the black color pencil again here I can draw in the edge of the iris and all those little muscles that are inside the effect is immediately very realistic. The corner of the eye is always a little bit tricky. I will get to that later. I'm getting rid of my little helper lines that is in between the pupils. And I also use my pencil eraser to lighten up the eyelashes that are on the right eye which catches the most light. Here I put in a little bit of shadow that is casted on the face that was made by the eyelashes and then once you are in this position uh, make sure that you blur out the left eye but the right eye needs a lot of contrast. So the contrast on the left eye is a little bit less than all the contrast on the right eye. Here I draw in some eyeliner in between the eyelashes. And I also need to make that corner of the eye a little bit more blurry. Keep the corner of the eye as soft as possible. This is great to do. Um, it works very, very quickly. 
and the combination of the compressed charcoal and the black color pencil is just amazing. So, well, this is my study and uh, I hope you will give this a try and it will help you make better eyes and in the correct alignment. Good luck on your drawing, don't forget to subscribe and should you want to know more, learn more, please visit my Patreon page, I would love to meet you there. I will see you again next Friday with another tutorial.